Morning, children. Good evening. Going to see number system. First chapter, exercise 1.2. See the first sum. Fill in the blank. Fill in the following place value table. Okay. So you want to fill up this. See first one. The decimal form is 320.157. So here, this is a ones, tens, hundreds. In hundreds, there is three. Then what is in the tens place? Yes, there is 2. Okay. So here you want to write 2 in place. Okay. See the second question. Here the whole part is 103 and decimal part is 709. 709. Okay. Here 100 space 1, 10 space 0 and uh, 1 space is 3. So what comes here? See it's a 10 space 1 by 10. That means that is 7. Okay. So you fill the 7. Okay. Next one. See. 4.003. 4.003. Here 4 is in 1 space. Okay. So no 100s and no 10s. So 0, 0. Then 1 space is 4. Point. Then 10 space is 0. And 100 space also 0. Okay, so here come 0. Then the thousands place is 3. So this fill up we are trying to 3. Understand children? Okay. Now see the fourth question. Here the decimal form is 360, 360.805. So 3 is in 100 place. 6 is in the tens place. Okay. So here in this fill up. 6 comes. 6. Okay. Then this is 0 is in 1 space. So 1 space we have to write 0. Next. Here the 8 is in 10 space. The 0 is in 100 space. The 5 is in 1000 space. So here 1000 space we have to write 5. Then it's not children. How to fill the place value table? Good. Is it children? So exercise 1.2, second sum. Write the decimal numbers from the following place value table. This is given in the place value table. From this place value table, you have to find out the decimal form. That means decimal number. Okay. Okay. You have to start from hundreds, tens, ones. Okay. This is a whole part. Here this is a decimal part. Tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, now what is in the hundred place? Eight. Okay, so eight. The tenth place is zero and one space is one. So eight hundred and one point. See the decimal part. So tenth place is five. Okay, so five and hundred place is six. Six thousand place is two. So, 801.562. Okay. So, that is the decimal number. Okay. See the second sum. Here, in number space, 9. 9, 3 in 10 space, 2 is in 1 space. Point. Okay. Now, see the decimal numbers. 0. Decimal places. So, 10 space is 0. And 100 space is 5. And thousands of places 6. So 932.056. Okay. Now see the third question. See here 100 spaces 0. Okay. So here start from only the 10 space. So, so 0, 4, 7. That means 47. Okay. So 47.5. 10 space is 5. And 100 space is 0 and 1000 space is 9. So 47.509.
Okay? Oh, see here. Fourth one. So in 100 space is 5, 10 space is 0, and 1 space is 3. So we write that in more than 503. 503 point. See here, 10 space is 0. Your 100 space is 0. 1000 space 7. Okay? So 0, 0, 7. Understood, children? So 503 point. 0, 0, 7. Okay, see the fifth one. Fifth question. You are in 100 space. It's a whole plot. Okay. So 100 space 6, 10 space 8, 1 space is 0. So 680 point. Here, 10 space is a decimal plot. Isn't it? So 10 space is 3, and 100 space is 1, and 1000 space is 0. Okay. So I understand that 680.310. Okay? Okay. Now see here. 6 1. So 100 space is 1. 10 space 0. 1 space is 9. This is the whole part. So how do you write this number of 109 point? See the decimal part? Your 10 space is 9. Okay, then 100 space is 0, then 1000 space is 8. So, this is 109.908. 908. Listen to that. You say it says 1.2 third sum. Write the following decimal numbers in the base value table. Base value table. This is the base value table. Here, what is given in the decimal number? First one. 25.178 The second number is 0.025 Third number is 428.001 The fourth one is 173.178 Now, you have to write in the place value table Okay, see here the whole part is 25. So, tens is a ones. Okay? So, you have no hundreds. So, you are in hundreds place that is 0. Okay? So, tens place is 2 and ones place is 5. Point. It is a decimal part. In this decimal part, the tens place is in 1. So, 1. The hundreds place is in 7. So, you write here 7. The thousands place is 8. So, here 8. Understand children? See next you will say. Here. The old part is only 0. Okay. So, no hundreds, no tens, no ones. So, you write here 0, 0, 0. Then point here the decimal part is. Here ten space is 0. Only the hundred space and the thousand space. So, in ten space also you have to put 0. Then this is 2, 5. Okay? You should that? Okay. Now we see the third question. Say 428.001. So in whole part, 428. Start from 100. Isn't it? So in 100 space, you have to write 4. 10 space, 2. And 1 space is 8. Then in decimal part, there is no tens and hundreds. Okay? So, only have thousands. Okay? So, you put your tens is 0 and hundreds is 0. In thousand space only 1. Okay? Okay. Now, see the fourth one. So, 173.178. 178. So, in whole part, 173. So, in hundred space is 1. So, 1. Okay, once ten space seven and one space is three. Okay, now see the decimal part here. The ten space is one, hundred space is seven, and thousand space is eight. Okay, so the subject you have to write in the decimal uh, numbers in place value table. Okay, good. So see here exercise one point two. Fourth sum. Write each of the following as the decimal numbers. So you are given in expanded form. 
expanded form. This expanded form you have to write in decimal number. Okay. So do you write it out? See here in one space 20 plus 1. So whole block is 20 plus 1. Okay. So you have to start from 10 space. So 20 plus 1. One space is 1. This is a 10 space. This is 1's. Here, this is in the decimal part. So, starts from 10th. 10th place. This is 100th place. 100th place. This is 1000th place. 1000th place. Okay? So, here, you have to write in decimal number. 20, 10 space is 2 and 1 space is 1. So 21 point, see, 2 in 10 place, 3 in 100 place and 7 in 1000 place. Okay, so 21.237. Okay, see your expanded form. So 3 is in whole part. So only 1 space, this is in 1 space. Here, this is 10th place, 10th space, okay, so this is 100th place, 100th place, okay, so this one is 1000th place, 1000th place, okay, so you have only start from the whole number, one space only, so 3 point, your 10th place is 8, and 100th place is 4, in 1000th place is 5. Okay, so 3.845. See the third one here. Yeah, the whole part only one digit, that is one space only. So in one space, there are 6. Okay, so 6 point. Okay, see here, yeah, there is no 10th place because there is 0. 0 by I think 0 only. So no. So you put here that 0 only. Okay. So your 100th place is 0. So 0. Then 1000th place is 9. So 6.009. Okay. So the fourth one. Here. 900 plus 50 plus 6. So here this is the whole part. Start from 100th place. Okay. So how many hundreds? 9 hundreds. So 9. And uh, tens. How many tens? Five tens. So five. Then the one space is six. So six. Nine hundred fifty-six point. Now see here only one decimal place. Okay, that is three by hundred. That means hundred place. There is no. There is no tenth place. Okay. So I put here zero. Okay. Then it is hundred places in three. Okay. So here thousand place there is no number. So that part zero or otherwise you move it. No need to put zero. Okay. So 956.03. And so right. See the fifth one. Here. See there is no whole part. This is only the decimal form. In expanded form, they only have a decimal form. Okay. So, the whole part? No. So, it put 0 point. So, 10th place is 6. So, the 100th place is 3. And the 1000th place is 1. Okay. So, 0 point 0.631. Okay. Understood that? How to write the decimal number? Okay. Now, see the fifth question. Convert the following fractions into decimal numbers. Convert the following fractions into decimal numbers. You know already, a decimal number is a fraction whose denominators are 10, 100, 1000, etc. Okay, all the denominators are 10 powers. Okay, so here have 3 by 10. This is a fraction. So how to convert into decimal? See, what is the denominator 10? So only 1, 0. Okay, 
so we need only one decimal place okay so 0.3 I will say one zero, so one decimal place. So in that one decimal place, you have to write three. So zero point three. Next, see here. Three is in whole part. Okay. So this one by two, you have to take one by two. This one by two, you multiply by. See here, we need a tens, hundreds, or thousands in denominator. Then only we can write in the decimal. Okay, so just you multiply two by five, we get ten. Okay, so the whole part three, right as it is, in the decimal part one by two, multiply the numerator and denominator by five. Divide by five. So this gives three plus five by ten. Five by ten. So three plus five by ten. Five by ten means what? This is ten space. Okay, so you write three point five. Understood, children? Okay. Now see here. See the same. This also the same. So here the whole part is three plus the decimal. You convert into ten. Okay, so five multiplied by two. Denominator five multiplied by two means we get ten. So the numerator also multiplied by the same number. So three into two, then five multiplied two. This gives three plus three two sir six by five two sir ten. Okay. So three point. This is a ten space. What is a ten space? Six. So three point six. Okay. Okay. Now see three by two. <coughs> three by two. Just here the numerator and denominator multiply by five. Okay, so in the denominator comes the ten. So what is the numerator? Three by seven, fifteen. Fifteen by ten. Okay, so here only one decimal. Sorry, only one zero. So here comes only the one decimal place. So one point five. Have you seen that? Okay. Have you seen four by five? This is also the same model. Multiply numerator and denominator by two, the same number. We get four two saw eight by five two saw ten. Okay, so this gives zero point eight. Okay, children. Okay. Now we see the sixth one. Ninety nine by hundred. Okay, here are two zeros. So we get two decimal places. So zero point nine nine, zero point nine nine. Okay. See here, some whole part. Okay. This only comes in the decimal part. Okay. So three plus nineteen by twenty five. You know, twenty five four saw hundred. Twenty five four saw hundred. So you multiply the numerator and denominator by four. Okay. So this gives three plus. Nineteen four sa see nine four sa thirty six three sa one okay one four is four so four plus three is seven then twenty five four sa hundred okay now see this is here two decimal sorry two decimal zeros so that comes two decimal places so three point seven six. Three point seven six. Otherwise, sir, see here three plus here what comes sir zero point seven six, isn't it? So you add just to this two. So what comes three point seven six? Understand, sir? Sir, so it's one point two six the sum. Write the following decimals as fractions. So you are given in decimal number. Convert into fractions. Okay. So see in decimal is a whole part. So you take it to us, uh, as it is. In this uh, decimal part only, you have to write two plus five by ten because there is a ten space, no ten space. So five by ten. Okay. So how do you write here? <coughs> so you cancel with the fifth table. Here one, one, here two. 
So this is 2 1 by 2. 2 1 by 2. Okay. Okay. See here. So whole part. So you take as it is. Here 4. So 4 is in the 10th place. So 4 by 10. So 6. Here cancel the second table. It is 2 here 5. So 6 2 by 5. 6 2 by 5. Okay. Now see. Here no whole part. That means 0 there. So you are only in the decimal part. So 7 is in 10th place. 5 is in 100th place. So how do you write here? 2 decimal places more. So we can write 75 by 100. 75 by 100. So this gives, we cancel with the so 25th table. Do you know 25th table? So 3 25s are 75. 4 25s are 100. Then 3 by 4. So 0 0.75 that is equal to 3 by 4. This is in the fraction form. Okay? Understood children? Okay. Now see here the seventh question. Express the following decimals as a fraction. This is also the same quarter question only. In lowest form. In lowest form. Okay. <coughs> see here. 2.34. So how do you write this? 2 plus 34 by 100. Okay? Now cancel with your second table. So one time the remaining 114, 14 means 7 is are 14. Okay? So you cancel the second table as a 15. Okay? So this gives 217 by 15. 217 by 15. Okay? Now see the second one 0.18. There is no whole part. So you take a 18 by 100. 18 by 100. Okay. See here. You are in denominator have 100 up. Okay. Can we cancel it with the second table? Yes. Okay. So 9. <coughs> okay. 9. Then here cancel with the second table. So 5, 0. So 9 by 50. This is the lowest form. Okay. Now see the third one. Third one. What is given here? Third one. 3.56. So the whole part is 3. Plus. What is the decimal part? 5, 6. So in so 5 is in 10th place. 6 is in the 100th place. Okay. So 56 by 100. You can write 56 by 100. So this gives us. Now you cancel with the. Uh, I think fourth table is possible, isn't it? So cancel with the fourth table. You have one time remaining one. Sixteen means four. Four is all sixteen, isn't it? So then we are cancel with the fourth table. You have two five twenty five. Okay. So this gives three fourteen by twenty five. Okay. Three fourteen by twenty five. Mix in them. Okay. Understand? Okay. Now see objective type questions. The 8th one, 9th one, 10th one are objective type questions. This one already is in the uh, sums. Okay. See this expanded forms demand. 3 plus 4 by 100 plus 9 by 1000. Okay. Here this uh, 3 is in whole part. So one place. So it's so a once. This one is 100th place. There is no 10th place. Okay. So 3 point. Okay. No 10th place. So 0. The 100th place is in 4. And 1000th place is in 9. So 9. 3.049. So where is the option? See here. The 4th one is the correct option. Okay. Okay. Now we see 3 by 5. This is a fraction. So what is given in the so 4 options? That is given in decimals. So, this fraction we convert into decimal. Okay? So, you know already, here the denominator is 5. So, we convert into 10. Okay? So, multiply numerator and denominator by 2. 3 twos are 6 by 5 twos are 10. So, this gives 0 0.6. Okay? What is the 0 0.6 answer? See, fourth option. The fourth option is 
okay the simplest form of 0.35 is 0.035 what do you write this this is 35 by 100 okay okay see this uh, 35 by 100 match with the fifth table so 5 7 7 30 comes so 7 times you are match with the fifth table 2 0 so the answer is 7 by 20 so show this the 7 by 20 option yes third one so the third one is the correct okay we completed the exercise 1.2 Do yourself the same model example sums. Okay? Thank you, children.